How do and uh, welcome back. Today I'm doing a taste test of Woodford's Breweries Nog, a dark ale at 4.6%. This is part of the Woodford series where you also buy the kit for the beer and uh, we do a side by side comparison in about a month's time. The Wherry, huge thumbs up, big success. It's actually tasting better and better as it gets older. Uh, amazing what they did. They took an extract kit, a normal extract kit, and they actually produced a beer that's not just commercial quality, it actually tastes like the commercial counterpart. Uh, counterpart. So let's see if they can do it with this beer. This is the, uh, the Woodford's Nog, which they call a dark ale. Now I've had one of these before, I differ, I call it a porter, but that's just semantics. Let me just top that up a little bit more. There we go. So it's a 500ml bottle, this is a 440ml uh, glass. 440ml in the UK is probably the most commonest size for tins. Get tins of beer, like tins of lager, it's usually 440. And this is a 440ml glass, so it doesn't all fit in. But as you can see, it's a really nice dark beer. Uh, it's actually a very dark red. It probably looks black on camera, but I can see the sides here where the lights are hitting it. It's a deep ruby red and it's slightly transparent as well. So it's not as opaque as it may look on camera. It's got a, well, I've just washed this glass. So uh, that's probably affected the head. Uh, usually you get about a finger or two fingers worth of a froth, frothy uh, off-white head and uh, it smells just of roasted malts and that's it. I'm not picking up any sweetness from the malts it's just it's just coffee and and that roasted malt like a like toast uh, toast crust but a, a really well done piece of toast if you know what I mean. Right, let's dive in and do a taste test. The bottle has been out in the garage for about three or four days so it's nicely chilled. In here now it's probably about four degrees, five degrees. We're going through a cold snap at the moment Hopefully the last one before uh, before spring next month. Oh, I'm looking forward to spring. Anyway, let's get back to the beer. Yeah, the flavour, it actually starts off quite sweet. Some nice sweet caramel. But very quickly turns into that deep roast malt flavour. There's some chocolate in there as well. But what I find is right at the back you get like uh, there's no hop to this the bitterness is coming from just those roasted malts but it's got like a char taste to it it's like char it's almost as if they roasted the malts till they started to char and then use those in the mash because it's got a nice uh, it's not overpowering but just a nice subtle charred taste right at the back uh, a bit like with a barbecue, you know, when you're, you're frying up some, barbecuing some chicken, uh, chicken breasts with the skin on and you get that, those black bits and, and you've got that charry taste. Uh, you get that flavour right at the back. And it's got a very long aftertaste as well, of that, that roasted bitterness. nice lacing. That is a fantastic uh, pint. Now what do they say? Oh it's won the Supreme Champion uh, it's got it here Supreme Champion Beer of Britain Award. I'm not surprised. Uh, you'll find a rich chocolatey taste. I can taste the chocolate combined with licorice and treacle. 
velvety smooth, I won't say that. The sail has an unmistakable texture and finish. Okay, I'm not picking up licorice, to be honest. Treacle, well, yeah, you've got that sweetness. I call it caramel, treacle. Uh, you've got that sweetness up front. And then you go to that nice chocolate flavours and that roasted malt and that bit of char right at the back end. I wouldn't say it's velvety smooth though. To me, this has actually got quite a lively carbonation to it. Uh, the wherry was smoother than this. Uh, and that and those, that carbonation just pushes it around your mouth. So I wouldn't really call it smooth and I don't really taste licorice. But it is a it is a really good example of the porter style. In fact, it's up there in my opinion with one of my favourites, which is uh, Guinness's West Indies Porter. I mean, it's up there. Although the West Indies Porter, you could say, is smooth compared to this. This is the carbonation. It's a bit too much to call it smooth, to be honest. Uh, but it's a cracking pint. That really is. Woodford's Nog, they call it a dark ale, 4.6%. I call it a porter, because I think that's what it is, <laughs> to be honest. It'll be interesting to see how this bears up, because the wherry was just amazing, uh, just outstanding. So, not just in the beer itself, but in how close they could actually match a commercial beer with just extract kits. I think it's going to be easier to actually copy this, to be honest, uh, simply because in my experience I find it's easier to brew darker ales than, than your lighter ales, you know, your, your, your bitters, pale ales, lagers especially. They can be a bit finicky if you don't get things just right, whereas darker ales are a lot more forgiving. So I th I've got high hopes for this. I think this could be another thumbs up. I don't think there's anything too challenging with the flavours in this beer. There's no hop to think about. Although I'm, I'm sure some would have been used in the brewing process, but it's just been masked by those roasted malts. So I think I think this is going to be another big thumbs up and we'll find out in about about five weeks from now when I'll be doing a side by side taste test. So I'm going to get this on the go this weekend. Uh, I don't think I need to show you how to do that. I showed you, I think I showed you in the wherry didn't I? Uh, how to put a kit together. Very simple, just need boiling water, mix it with the contents of these tins, top it up and that's it pitchy yeast and you're ready to go. So I'll be doing that this weekend and uh, today's Thursday for me by the way uh, and we'll come back in five weeks and we'll do a side by side if I can keep <laughs> a bottle spare. Have to wait and see. Okay thanks for watching and as always I'll see you again in the next video. Bye bye for now but if you see this in the shops and you like a porter, pick one up, it's a bloody nice one.